If you are using Universal Analytics, it's time for you to upgrade to Google Analytics 4. That's because Universal Analytics, also known as GA3, will stop working soon. Or maybe when you're watching this video, it already doesn't work. So in this video, I will show you how to upgrade to GA4 and what are the first things you absolutely must configure from the day one. To upgrade from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4, you have to log in to your Universal Analytics property and click Admin. Here you have two options how to upgrade. You can either use the GA4 Setup Assistant or create a new property. When it comes to upgrading to Google Analytics 4, you have to understand that Google Analytics 4 and GA3 are two completely different platforms. And there is no simple click that will transfer all your data from Universal Analytics to GA4. Your old data will remain in Universal Analytics, while your new data that comes to GA4 will be available in your new property. If you decide to go with the GA4 Setup Assistant, there will be almost no connection between these two properties, I mean GA3 and GA4, because these two platforms are so much different. That is why when I do the upgrade, I usually just create a new property, which is GA4. In this video, I will show you this option. So first, let's try to create a new property. Here, my Universal Analytics property is called Demo Website, so I can have another property that is called something similarly, and it will be a GA4. So click Create Property, then enter the property name, I will call this maybe demo website GA4. Then select your reporting time zone, select the currency that your business is operating in, and then click next. Then you can answer these questions, but they are not required. So if you want, you can skip them and then click create. And now you have created your GA4 property. The next step is to configure where are you going to collect data from. Usually I work with websites. That is why I choose the platform web. Once you click this button, it will initiate the creation of the data stream. So data stream basically is like a source of data from where you're going to get those events in your Google Analytics 4 property. If you plan to use the same web data stream on multiple websites, which is totally normal, and each website has a different domain, you can enter any of those domains right here. Honestly, the domain that you enter here will not matter that much in the future. So I can enter here let's say the domain of the first website, which will be, for example, demowebsite.com. And then I will enter the name for the stream. We can call this just simply website and then click create stream. Once you do that, you will see more information about the web stream, including instructions, how to install Google Analytics 4 on your website. There are several options how you can do that. For example, if you're working with a popular content management system and that system supports Google Analytics 4 integration, then it will be enough for you just to copy this measurement ID and then paste it somewhere in your content management systems settings where they are asking you to enter the measurement ID. You can enter it there, save it, and from that moment, Google Analytics 4 will be installed on your website. Another option could be to use the native Google Analytics 4 tracking code, which is called GTAG. You can find more instructions by clicking this view tag instructions, or you can scroll down and click view tag instructions right here. So let's click this, and then you will get some suggestions on how to install it. If you're using one of these website builders, then you can click on any of these icons and then see the instructions on how to install Google Analytics. If you want to install it manually because maybe your platform is not mentioned right here, then you can switch to install manually, copy this entire code, and ask your developer to implement this code somewhere in the head of your website. Because website's HTML code consists of two parts, head, and body. So it is recommended to include this code in the head of the website. The third option how to install Google Analytics 4, and that's usually what I choose, is by using Google Tag Manager. But to do that first, you need to have at least basic knowledge about Google Tag Manager, what it is and what it does. If you want to learn more about how to get started with Google Tag Manager, I will post a link to the description of this video. So if you decide to go with the Google Tag Manager option, here I will show you quick step-by-step -step process on how to do that. First, obviously you must have a Google Tag Manager container already created and installed on your website. And then you have to go to Tags in GTM, click New, 
Tag Configuration, and then select Google Analytics GA4 Configuration. Click this, and here you have to paste that measurement ID from the Web Data Streams settings. So you can either highlight it and copy, or just click this copy icon, and then paste it right here. Then in the triggering, click anywhere or on this pencil, and then select all pages. The final step is to name this tag. I usually name it like that, GA4 config, and then the measurement ID. Click Save. Keep in mind that in your case, the measurement ID will be different because it differs for every website. Now it's time to quickly test this. To do that, in Google Tag Manager, click Preview, then paste the URL of the website where you want to test your Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4 installation, click Connect, and then you will see that this is connected, and then in the Preview mode of Google Tag Manager, on container loaded, you will see that your configuration tag has successfully fired. Once you see that, let's go to Google Analytics 4, close the web stream settings, and then in the sidebar, go to configure, debug view, and then you should start seeing your events right here. However, I've noticed that sometimes there are some problems with debug view and it doesn't always work from the first time. Sometimes you might need to wait maybe for several hours or maybe even for a day after you have created your property in order to actually start seeing something right here. So if you don't see your device yet in the debug view, you can try going to reports, then real time, and maybe you will already start seeing some data right here. Again, what I've noticed is that when you create a fresh new property in GE4, it takes some time until it actually starts working. Right now I see zero users, but if I scroll down, I can already see some visitors right here. I can see the title of the page where I am, and that's the title of the website where I'm actually browsing right now. You can see several events. So this looks promising, and it looks like everything will work fine. If you do the same steps after several hours, I think that you will start seeing yourself properly right here. Then when you make sure that everything is working properly, you can submit these changes and then this tracking code will go live to your website visitors as well. To do that, click Submit. Then you can add the name for this version, like installed G4, and click Publish. If you are already using Google Tag Manager for your old version of GA, which is Universal Analytics, you can still continue using the same container for GA4. So basically, in the same container, you will have both Universal Analytics tracking codes and Google Analytics 4 tracking codes. And this was the basic upgrade from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4. The end result is that you will probably right now have two versions of GA running on the website at the same time. When Universal Analytics stops working, then you are free to remove the tracking codes of GA3 and keep just GA4 running on the site. But again, this is just a basic setup. And if you're tracking some events with Universal Analytics, you will need to recreate them and actually configure them from scratch in Google Analytics 4 as well. I have another tutorial about that and I will post a link to it below the video. By the way, keep in mind that after you install Google Analytics 4 on your website, you will start seeing event data in your standard reports, and I mean not real-time reports, only somewhere after 24 hours after you have installed it. So immediately after you install it, and if you go to, let's say, engagement and events, you will still see no data because not enough time has passed. So as I've said, you will need to wait for up to 24 hours to start seeing some data right here. Also, when you create and configure a new Google Analytics 4 property, you should go to admin, and then in the property column, click setup assistant. This is like a checklist of things that you should consider to implement. You don't have to implement everything, but you should definitely review the list because maybe you will notice something that is valuable. For example, you might want to configure conversions, and to do that, you can click right here to get started, or you can click the learn more links to learn more about that particular feature. So definitely review this list, including the advanced setup. And as promised for the end of this video, here are several things that you should configure immediately after you create a new GE4 property. First of all, in your new property, go to admin, then data settings, data retention, and then change the two month retention to 14 months. Click save. This is needed if you want to analyze data up to 14 months old 
in your custom reports that are created in the explore section. If you leave the default, which is two months, this means that you will be able to analyze only the data from the last two months, which is not ideal. Then another thing to configure is called unwanted referrals. To do that, go to data streams, select your website data stream, and then click configure tag settings, click show all, and then list unwanted referrals. Here you should enter the domains that are configured in your referral exclusion list of Universal Analytics. To check if you have something there, you should go to Universal Analytics, then in the admin section, click tracking info, referral exclusion list. And if you have some domains right here, excluding your own domain, because that one is handled automatically, then you should enter them in the list of unwanted referrals. In my case, I have paypal.com. So let's go to GA4 list unwanted referrals section and then enter paypal.com right here. If you have multiple domains here, then you will need to enter them as separate conditions right here and then click save. Last tip of this video, but not least, is related to cross-domain tracking. If you plan to install this Google Analytics 4 property on multiple websites that have multiple domains, then you will need to configure some things related to cross-domain tracking. But keep in mind that this applies to completely two or three or more separate domains. Subdomains are handled by GE4 automatically. So to configure cross-domain tracking, you should go again to data streams, website data stream, then configure tag settings, and then click configure your domains. And here you can configure all the domains that belong to your business, and that will have this G4 property installed on them. So it might be something like demo.com, but obviously you should enter your own domains right here. Then my demo websites.com, and then all other domains that are involved. If this property is installed only on one website, then you don't have to do anything because this part handles one domain and all of its subdomains automatically. But anyway, let me just quickly configure demo.com, my de demo website.com and then click save. And that's the basic setup related to the upgrade from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4. But there are many other things and they depend on how complex your Universal Analytics setup is. And that is how you should upgrade to Google Analytics 4. However, this is just the beginning. There are many more things you need to be aware of. For example, how to migrate your Universal Analytics events. Below this video, I will share additional resources. But if you really, really want to learn the entire process and migrate to GA4 flawlessly, I have an in-depth Google Analytics 4 course where I teach how to plan your GA4 setup, how to configure it, how to build reports, and most importantly, how to get valuable insights out of your data. I will post a link to the course below the video. If you found this video useful, then hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.